Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mage and today Tina and I are going to be going through the process of making a terrarium. This is going to be pretty much a full experience. I would appreciate a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Video is going to be more about the actions. So thank you for joining me again and I hope you stay to watch. We're spreading those items out, uh, around. And then you have your uh, fed tweezers. So this is for grabbing and manipulating objects on the top of the soil, placing rocks in tough to reach places. And that's gonna get these two which are gonna get paired together to place our plants. So you wanna think about where your terrarium's gonna go in your home. Is it gonna go in the window, on an island? It's gonna be viewed from all sides, a single side. So how many focal points do you have? You want to get their good side. So when you go to place them in there, just you know, rotate them. You want to you know, get, put the face out. Um, when we go to place them, you're going to just make a small divot in the soil using your fork. And you're going to take your tweezers. The plant will be out of the pot at this point. And you're going to make a rocking motion by pressing firmly down. And then if you need to, press on the root ball with the cork to bury it flush in the soil. And I'll go around and give more specific demos when it's time. If you'd like, you can do dips, hills, and valleys in your terrarium. So you can use your spatula, so that's the triangular tool to like work up different sides. If you know you're definitely gonna do a hill, you can start with your rock layers that will be doing first. It makes it look a little bit more interesting if you have your slope start from the bottom all the way up to the soil layer. We're also going to take a look at our plants and make sure there's anything that there isn't anything dead, broken. So we'll use our scissors just to trim everything off. We just wanna groom them and prep them for their new life under glass. So looking at our tables, each row of bowls is a step. So starting the furthest away from us at our stand row, it's step one, step two, step three, step four, and so on. All the bowls within that row are options for that step. So you can mix and match however you like, make your own unique combinations. The bowls nearest you, the empty ones, those are your mixing bowls. So you can mix your different layers and you salt and pepper. What we're doing here for the first step is just laying down some sand to get this started.
It might be. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put some pebbles in. Oh, there we go. 
So if you're familiar with the self-watering pot, as the terrarium dries, the, the wick, the moss, will pull water up from the wet floor up to the soil. This is how we can go months and months and months without having to water our terrarium. Yeah. Uh -huh. You said you were going to pick one? Yeah. 
Springtails need to eat mold, so that's the first member of our cleanup crew. So they're going to be cleaning the surface, everything all the time, and you're going to see a bunch of them pop up in that case or two. Did you say cover the surface? Yeah, I finished this shooting for 18 minutes and it's still only well, lost like 10% back. Okay. Still crazy. So when you're ready to go to Adam, you're just going to take your bowl, yeah. bring it up to the rim. And the idea is that they'll just one continuous motion and they'll plop down in the middle. I mean, it doesn't going to hurt anything going down to the side, it's just a little cleaner. And then you're going to take your spatula and you're going to ride right above the moss layer. You're not going to go into the moss, but right above it and just kind of push the charcoal around itself and not the moss and just some resemblance of spread out. Um, so this is activated charcoal or activated carbon. You might be familiar with this from medicine, beauty products, or fish tank filters. It absorbs odors and smells, so it's just like keeps return, keeping it fresh and not becoming janky over time. Um, so just 
one continuous smooth confident motion. Confident. To the I like that word. <laughs> <laughs> that was the opposite of what Confident. Confident, yeah. <laughs> surface you can make zips hills and valleys sometimes I had clumps basically with my eyes closed just to make it really look organic um, so just play around some dirt uh, this is where most people go wrong with making terrarium mm -hmm. it's normal potting soil it has way too much nutrients in it you get algae you pass the plants grow way too fast and everything molds and dies so we make this dirt in-house it's nutrient depleted so that's the most important aspect so it stunts and miniaturizes our plants kind of like a bonsai and they keep them from outgrowing the terrarium so this is the goldilocks of terrarium dirt okay. Yeah, I'm a little heavier, but I like to spot after as necessary. Okay, I really can't get into Yeah. 
I want you to look at it. You say you want to look at it? So, as we have added our soil, we now have our blank canvas, and we're ready to do the fun stuff. So, everything at this point is an aesthetic, elective choice. So, it's because it's an option, don't feel obligated to use it. But, if you want to add large stones, this is the time before we add our plants. So on your table, you have a big bowl of cobbles. So these are our landscaping uh, boulders. So we're gonna do some landscaping architecture here. So feel free to play around with them, turn it off. I would slightly embed them into the soil. This will give it much more aged look, just because anything that lays in the ground gets buried over time due to erosion. So this is gonna be our focal points that help define space when we go to add our plants. <laughs> Sorry, we, we didn't need them last night. Yeah. The big one is it? Oh, you guys got a pole there? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I I yeah, I guess we have, we have to put it on this side, yeah. A bunch of little rocks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like really the rabbit's foot ferns, the ones the foot ferns, those get broken up as well. 
They're a little tricky, just call me over, I can do it for you if you're unsure. And then the petonias, that's the red ones, and the white veined plants, those have two to three plants per pot. When you take them out of the pot, you'll see the separate plants, and they're very easy to separate. And maybe you can trade these with some neighbors for some extra stuff. If you don't use all your plants, just repot them and you get to take those home. And when we go to place our plants, the fuzzy roots on that fern, the rabbit's foot, the plant breathes through those. So we want to make sure not to bury those fuzzy roots. tray on your table so ideally try to use this as your de-dirting tray it's okay you know you can throw stuff on the floor but try to use the tray so you're going to take the cup and you're going to give it a good squeeze and then you're going to turn it from the other direction and give it another good squeeze then over the tray you're just going to tamp it out hit the bottom of the cup to release it so some of them are going to basically come out ready to go they're going to leave most of the dirt behind and they'll be a perfect little plug if the whole thing comes out you're just going to gently massage it just to knock off the outer circumference of soil, we're not going nuts. So this is all you really want. I didn't tease the roots apart, nothing crazy like that. So go ahead and prep all three of your plants, and then I'll come around to show you all how to start planting. And for the ones that like the red petonia, so that's that red leaf plant, they can have a really intense root ball. You're probably not going to get tore off. By taking your tweezers, kind of use it like a fork to gently break out the root ball of it. Just loosening up a little bit will make it much easier to plant.
And then retract. Uh, these ones will definitely get pulled right back out. If you're having trouble manipulating an object or getting something placed the way you want it, let me know. I can help you. When all else fails, feel free just to grab around the uh, base and just twist them on in there. <laughs>
We want to get it loose. Mm -hmm. We want to try it. Once you're like all done playing around, I'm gonna come and take a look at your little QC, make sure what should be buried is and what shouldn't be is not.
Easier, but these guys are so funny and like, it's hard to tell where one starts <laughs> and one ends. Deep in the woods, and my parents are like, sure, you can just go off with all these old folks. <laughs> 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 uh, this is my place. Okay, yeah, no. I mean, you're not, uh, you're not working in a lab or anything. No, I am. Uh, retail is a fickle measure right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am in a laboratory full time, and then I come here in the evening, so I make all the stuff that I sell, and then I'm up here on the weekend doing retail in the workshop. And then back to work on my back. It is what it is. 
yeah. Just in case something bad happens here. Um, integral molecule. Um, it kind of used to be science better than market. So like that's like it's like thirty biotechs there. Yeah. So I'm in the one there, and I make um, antibodies and viruses. <laughs> What was that? Uh, a lot of stuff. Mostly female cancers. Like really, really hard to treat female cancers. So antibodies are what um, target something for destruction. That's your immune system say, hey, kill it. So we grab, we are, we make ones that like will grab onto breast cancer and then grab a white blood cell and it says eat this. So it's a no side effect, basically cancer treatment. I'm like chemo, so there's no side effects, you're not damaging the rest of your body, there's no vomiting. Um, you just come to the hospital, get an injection, and you're good. And a lot of times after that, your immune system then has some tasks to know what the cancer looks like, and we'll fight it in the future on its own. But we do lots and lots of cool stuff. Like the company does a lot of amazing stuff, and there's only 100 people, and we're all like 25, it's really fun. Wow. It's a great place to work. Yeah, everything's in there. Welcome back to California. She's a biochem, PhD. Oh, good. And we'll be looking for a job in the city, you know, somewhere on the East Coast here. It's a wonderful job, wonderful place to work. They do not pay enough. Oh. Yeah, and she already has her PhD. Yeah. That's the one that's for me. My time was always in my PhD. And COVID and life got messy. But this place is really nice for young people who don't have very six kids. Facebook grads will already pay you. So most people will stay there for two years and make a little money. You'll probably get a paper and you can learn whatever laboratory skills they want. And then you can stand for whatever PhD class program that you want. It's a great place to start. So no matter what I do, if something bad happens here, I'm good to go for the next step. So this place takes off, but there wasn't a gap in my resume. Yeah, we're going to do one of the best of the year. But there is some great companies in the sites that are there, and most of them pay somewhere between 80 and 120. Starting with the location. It's at like 36, 37 market street. It's really fast, easy to get there. Nice stuff to This is all really nice. So if you just want to go to one of the bigger ones, because like the next one, the elevator. If I met Slack instead of Wright, it's my company. My starting salary would be another 15. So this one goes a little bit longer too. This one goes a little bit longer too. So there's no oversight. Once you get the work done, they know that I'm busy, so I couldn't be somewhere where they're like, so the difference in compensation is what I'm talking about. Exactly, this one, I have it right that way. That's what I'm asking. Century is free, Spark Pharma is free, there's a few other ones over there. If you just look up the Science Center, there'll be a whole list of the company. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 
So we are pretty much done here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And also leave a comment below if you have any questions.